I've always done art. I'm not sure exactly when. Um, it's an escape for me. And it's just, um, keeps me sane. It's my sanity. If I didn't do art, I'd go crazy. Actually, I look up to all artists. Um, anybody that has the courage to put their creativity out there for others to see, I look up to. A little more than two years ago, I used to do these shows called the Outsider Art Cat Box Shows over at Mothers and Sunset Beach. They used to lend me the little back room and they needed business and I wanted to have art shows, so I'd invite artists to come and show for free. And they were all self-taught artists at the time. And eventually I got one in my own space, so I decided uh, I was gonna open a gallery. And I did. It started off as outsider art and then um, gradually went to all art, mainly darker art that's not in the mainstream, um, a lot of self-taught art, um, underground art. I like to try and get artists that aren't known yet for their art to give them more exposure, but I also bring in artists that are known and artists that are, have been out there for a while doing shows because that helps inspire the newer artists and there's nothing more I love to see than the artists that have been doing it for a while, the more, um, what do you call it? I guess the more experienced artists inspire the artists who aren't as experienced and when they get together it's just it's magical. Great things happen. It's bittersweet. Um, it took about two years to get seven where it is now and just as we started becoming successful and started breaking even and started getting artists out there, I had to stop doing my evening shows and cut the hours because the management didn't, didn't like it, of the, of the building didn't like it. Um, but I get a move to a storefront now and I wanted a storefront in the beginning, I just, we just couldn't do it. Um, so we had the warehouse and turned the warehouse into what I could. So now it's just time to do it again and find a new spot and turn it into what I can. what feels right um, so I think if I had no limits I would just keep building and keep adding artists and have rooms for workshops and music and I really like combining the music and art together and as much as I can combine the music and art and um, that's just what it's about it's about becoming a family and bringing artists together to collaborate and inspiring everybody and letting everybody inspire each other Seven to mean community, freedom, freedom of expression, and I think that community and freedom of expression I think is a way to sum it up. A place where people can come and inspire and be inspired and help other people and be themselves. I am Kat Monroe and I am an artist and I own and run Seven Gallery in Huntington Beach.